Greetings and welcome back to Dungeon Defenders Awakened. I'm Captain of Sky and we've got our system EV um, over here. Wait, can I create an outfit for her? Uh, one? I don't know. I don't know. Chromatic gear? Oh yeah, look at this! Ooh, that's fun. How come this doesn't have any sliders? What is this? Defender's gear, chromatic gear, and we have funky gear. Huh. We have wings. Currently applied. I ain't seeing no wings on her. Hello? Weird. Er, that's not right. Um, huh. You know what? No, discard. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing with that. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and go into the next uh, campaign map. We'll figure out how these characters work with their transmogs later. We haven't actually done any transmogging and stuff like that yet. So um, anyway, let's go ahead and select a new campaign map. We're just going to go through all of them. And I'm not going to play any outside of the video. So we'll start from these just fresh eyes. Tornado Valley. That's a new one. I can tell you that already. Anyway, we are on Lava Mines. So let's go play this one. Uh, again, friends only. And I don't think we should have any friends joining us because I don't have many friends. <laughs> anyway, this is another new map. Uh, this one also has two entrances to the crystal. It looks like there's this one, but this is not an entrance. There's no doors up this way. Uh, not that I could find anyway. I don't think this counts as a door. Anyway, I haven't seen any enemies come along that door. So basically we have this entrance along this way and then we have one, it's very similar to the previous map actually. Um, so what I want to do is the auras were so strong and powerful, I think I'm just going to grab my, uh, my monk and put down auras. So let's press G, start the build phase, look at I of course, see if there's anything good. Ooh. When the lightning tower fires off, it deals 100% of tower damage to all enemies within range, with less damage the further away they are from the tower starting after halfway up. Lightning towers. Uh, okay. Let's see. This is power. Very good. What is this? 54 DPS. Um, it doesn't look very much more powerful, so we're going to skip that one. You know what? We'll get something that's a 67. This one's with like 200 DPS. Why am I not getting any of those? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let's give him the points he has earned or is on the deck. Basically, all the heroes on the deck are earning XP as I am putting them down. So let's see. What did we get? Four is a new... Strength Drain. Oh, these are nice. So this basically it reduces enemy damage uh, and nullifies attunements. I don't remember why we use these, but we use them quite often, as I recall. What is five? We can't. No, we can't see five. Anyway, what we're going to do is, do we have enough to put down Electric and Ensnare? Yes, we certainly do. Beautiful. So I don't think we're going to need much more than these two for now. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, good. So we have both auras at both spots. I think this should be enough. Um, we could get out the EV again. Let's see. Let's get out the EV again. Which is her. And then maybe we'll do the, um, the reflect field. Let's see, we used to be able to... Okay, here you can see the defense units. On top there are one defense unit, that's perfect. Oh, you know what else we used to use these for? For reflecting um, projectiles, so they wouldn't hit the crystal because uh, you have there are archers as well in this game that will um, try to shoot your crystal. That's what we use them for, I remember now because they're, see how tall they are? So we would put them around the crystal. Um, I don't think that's going to be an issue right now. Uh, however, there is one issue that we're going to have. As I recall, there are wyverns that come from like around there. 
So we're gonna need some kind of tower to defend against that. But right now, I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen in in wave one. So let's get out our um, uh, probably the squire. Those uh, those ballistas are super nice for combating uh, wyverns. But let's see. Hopefully, this will this will be enough. Wait, this doesn't look right. This looks like there's only one aura here. Oh god, there's only one aura here. That's not good. No, 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 dude. Shoot. What I should do is just put down a temporary tower here. To kill them. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, dude. Dude, 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 dude. Okay, at least we can aggro him. Okay. Uh, what happened here? Okay, so let's see. Let's get a proton beam here. There we go. So that should help. Uh, apparently there's no electric aura here. There's only the ensnare aura. So anyway, this will help kill those guys. It's a nice thing to be... Oh, I died. I died. No! No! Bad! Okay, this guy got through somehow. I don't know how he got through the electric aura. That's a surprise. It's a big surprise. Okay, there we go. We got this one though. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take off this beam for now, and just leave the rest for. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's get. Let's take this and grab that gun. Let's look at anything that might be applicable. I don't know if it puts the new stuff in the beginning of the list or in the end of the list. Anyway, stats, zero. Okay, that's fine. So, hero deck. I wonder, there's probably a, a hotkey for this menu. Um, I need to look it up. Let's get Corrin. Okay. Oh, no. Let's get hero deck uh, Gentare. And we're going to put in the electric aura because... Apparently, it didn't take. There we go. So now it's both there. Alright, that's good. So, let's uh, get his stats. Everything's fine there. So let's go switch to Corrin. Uh, this is not a barrier, by the way. Also, what we used to use for barriers, we used to use this guy's barriers because they're cheaper. They're basically just a wall. But they are one defense unit rather than two, which I believe are the squires. So technically we don't need the EVs right now because I don't think we're going to have stuff firing. So let's just take that off. We don't need the reflect field. Those are, those are basically for, yeah, projectiles. Um, but he is, we're going to need his other, uh, we can either put in his tower. What's four? Lightning tower. Oh. That sounds fancy. Five, I think, is the super uber power tower. Um, but I like the... Um, we didn't look at these. Corrin's ballistas. Oh, yeah, we did, actually. We did kind of look at them. Ooh, does he have his bowling ball towers? Oh, those are fun. We should do... A, let's do a bowling ball tower here. What is five again? Slice and dice blockade. Oh, yes. I don't like those that much because the enemy has to run into them. Uh, this should be fun going uphill. That's going to be very fun. Anyway, I do want to get some wyvern protection. It doesn't show that we're getting any right now, but I definitely want to add them to our uh, our thingy here because I noticed some when I when I was putting. What happened? Oh my God! You can hot switch between F keys. Holy fuzzy cats. That's fun. Okay, you just have to remember which one is on which key. Okay, okay, I got it. Accidentally pressing an F key gets you this. Okay, let's do that. And then we'll have also, might as well just put a couple of these here. Insufficient resources. Okay, let's go then. Oops, that was an F. Bowling balls are really fun. I like them a lot. They're hilarious. So I'll show you what they do. 
We'll watch the ones going downhill first, and then we'll watch the ones going uphill. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, no wyverns yet. Boom. <laughs> Look at this. They just kind of crush everything. It's fun. And they go all the way down the line. I think these bowling balls should probably come back. Or maybe not. They look like they're just falling over the edge there. Okay, that's fine. That works. I'm going to go ahead and repair this aura. I probably should have just saved the crystals and done a... Uh, like a an upgrade instead. Look at these bowling balls. This is a nice narrow path where they really cannot be avoided very well. Super effective. That's great. I like it. I like it. It is good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just upgrade these with Q. And then let's see. I think I'm gonna upgrade my wyvern killing thing. Did I see a thing? No? No. Okay. Um, that's it. Alright. Let's see. Uh, let's upgrade him. It's not likely that we're gonna find any um, any equipment because he's been in higher levels than this already. Oh, whoops. So it's not likely we're going to find anything specifically here for him. Uh, let's go ahead and repair this. Because I'm not going to upgrade the ensnare. It's not needed at all. Oh, those kobolds be dead before they can hit our stuff. So if, if there are like towers that are the same from multiple heroes, you should check that out and see which ones are cheaper and what they do and if you need the functionality because you don't always like right here we don't actually need the enemies to hit the, the thing uh, and kill themselves on it we just need them to not hit the bowling ball tower um, and so that's what it's preventing right now now we do have to be careful i think these are actually a bit too close um, i'm not sure if they can swing over the wall or not or if they have to hit the wall first um, but that is something that we will need to kind of figure out as time goes on and as we get more experience with this game. But I'm enjoying this immensely. This is great. I love this game so much. Love this game so much. Alright, we're in a build phase again. Uh, let's see what else we got. Anything good? But again, the, I don't like the way the loot is displayed. I was checking to see earlier if it was like early access still, but apparently not. Um, and it just feels weird. Uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and put in another uh, ballista here just for funsies. Of course. I don't know if there's supposed to be wyverns coming in right now. What are, where are we at? Uh... I don't see the... Oh, there it is. Wave 4 of 5 in the upper right there. Uh, let's see if we can put one here. Could probably put another bowling tower here. I like bowling ball towers. They're really good. Um, I think that's probably good. Let's see. Upgrade. Is it trying to... No. I'm still wondering when those wyverns are going to come and where I'll see that because I don't remember seeing the path. Oh, there they are. Look at that. There it is right there. You see the one coming in through the sky? Shoot. That that was not as visible as I was hoping because I thought they were coming from up there. So I was looking like, okay, where are they? Anyway, let's watch them come. I'll show you how what the wyverns look like. There they come. Here's one of them right there. And as they come in, those... Uh, the ballistas, I hope, are going to go shooting for them. Yep, there it goes. And depending on how close they are, I guess you could you could reduce their range or put them further back so that the crystals end up on the uh, <laughs> on the walkway if you care. 
It's not going to be a lot, I don't think. It's not probably worth it to do that, but you could do that if you wanted to. Just to make sure that they end up in the right location and don't, you know, fall off. Whatever. Oh, there's another one that fell down. Let's see. Um, let's upgrade the electric aura. Okay, very nice. I didn't even look on this side to see if there are any uh, wyverns coming in here. I like the double jump. That's quite new, I think, as I recall. I have played every incarnation of this game, and... Uh, Happy to see it hasn't died off yet. I really enjoy it. It's cool. Oh, oh, what are we going to do with this, um, kobold? Oh, okay, we, we killed it before it could kill us. Kobolds are actually dangerous. They're quite damaging to the defenses, so it's always good to take care of them as soon as possible. Cool. kind of miss farming for stuff like crazy ass farming like afk farming <laughs> a lot we did a lot of afk farming back in the day um let's see uh let's repair was it the ensnare that needs repair no it's the electric let's go ahead and upgrade the electric oh whoops i did the wrong one apparently okay i guess i missed that wrong I saw the 23 and I thought, oh, that's a higher crystal level. So that one must need repairing. Um, but it wasn't. It was the other one. Okay. Let's just get everything here. Upgraded. Oh, okay. Oh, no, it's not G. Wyverns from the sky there. Nice. And deaded. They aren't even getting close to our defenses. This is <gasps> Wow, okay. This thing needs to be moved. This one bowling ball tower is actually very bad here, this one. Hmm. Because it's like just bouncing the balls over the uh the edge there, and that does not help us at all. Yeah, I remember back in the day, like, the, um, and maybe we just haven't gotten to a high enough level of loot yet, is, like, each of the little sticks they're sticking on on the ground, they'd be different colors based on if they were, like, magic items or rare or whatever. Um, and now they're just all on these white sticks and it's hard to tell if any of them are good or not. Um, cause, you know, you could use to tell, like, if they were decent. See how they have these white sticks that they're on? Maybe it's because we're still really low level or something. Um, but yeah. Though some of the items have, like, much more stats than the others in the, uh, inventory, so it's kinda like, oh, okay. Get them or not. So there's some coming from that door as well, and they're kind of splitting off there. I always kind of like the graphical style of this game, kind of very crunchy and fun and interesting. Wait, okay, okay, dudes, just chill. Just chill. I can heal myself with X as well. Go. It's up in the air. Oh, oh, we have an ogre. Wet. Wedginald. Oh dear. The 
interesting to see how much we can do damage wise with our setup. Nice. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Cool. Alright. So that's it. We get an ogre at the end of our troubles here. Let's see anything else on this side? Just a little bit. Alright. And that's it. Okay. Gee, let's go. Okay, so we did stuff. Now we can go to the alchemical labs. That's interesting. Um, wonder if we should go a little bit harder. Let's do harder. I think we should do harder because it's been pretty easy so far for us. We haven't had any issues whatsoever. So this is a this is a map that we've had in the original Dungeon Defenders. Um, and uh, this one that I know very, very well, including the special bits at the end. Um, because this is a boss battle, actually. Um, what I'm going to do here, I think, is I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to put in some harpoons here, I think. Oh, whoops, we have to press G, of course. Yes, of course. Let's also look and see if there's any stuff. Mystical repair. Okay, sure. Again, runes. Many runes that we have no use for yet. I should just go through all the things through all of this loot and then spin to win. I already used that one. Does Can we use anything yet? No. Nothing on him, huh? Alright, well we should check on the others as well. Okay, so what I want to do, I think we'll put in a basic wall down there, and then we're going to do a probably one of these. One of the things that I don't like is how, like, it's difficult to see from above. Oh, there we go. Now we can do this properly. Okay, so let's do this like that. Okay. No. There is good. Okay. So let's get the. Um, let's get this guy in. I kind of want to move my heroes around. I'm not really that keen right now on their positioning. So let's put this here. Then we'll go to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, now, now we want to do something else entirely. We could actually do another wall here. These cost 20 each. Okay, could do one there and then one here. We could share, maybe we could share another thingy thingy. I don't know. Let's see, let's see if we have better, oh, fortify two. Or fortify one, okay. Anything else? We haven't looked at this guy in a while. Fortify is good on him because of, um, you know, the walls and such and things. It's pretty good. Why is this above when it's same? Oh, it has three projectiles. Uh, but they go in weird directions. I don't think I'm going to trust that as a thing. Vitality, okay. Got some decent equipment, it seems like, in general. Okay, so now I really want to go to... We want to get this guy, and we want to just put in this thing. Oh, and we have no resources. This is not good. Um, do we, can we make anything with him? No. Why could we do with that? No, why would we be able to do this? Um, huh. Okay. Well, 
that's not great. What we could do, probably, is we could remove these walls, which I think is, like, is what I'm going to do, and have them throw themselves on our spiked walls. I think that's what we're going to do with this. I know it sounds insane, but that's what we're going to do. It's fine. No worries. And we're going to use him because he's got the most powerful uh, weapon. So what's happening over here is we're going to see these guys. They're pretty much going to get killed at this door. There are others coming from these doors over here. Um, so we'll see how that happens. Should be fine though. Yeah, this seems to work pretty well over here. First wave is always kind of a weird one. Because you're almost always going to have to fight off some with your weapon because you have insufficient uh, mana to start. Or crystals. I, I think it's called mana. I think it's mana. Back. Okay, good. Alright, now we're gonna grab this. Alright, and then grab and grab. And then we're going to set up some proper weapons here. Well, what I want to do with this is set up one of these. Um, maybe we'll set it up up here, actually. They can't... Oh, I hate that. I absolutely hate that. Why does that do that? Why do I... Why isn't it instantly made? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. That does not make any sense at all to me. Okay, there we go. Um, now, we have 210 left. I think what I want to do is get some more... I want to get some monkiness uh, going on here. So let's see, are you sorted? No, you're not. Really nice to get extra stuff here. Okay, this is terrible DPS. Uh, okay, what is this? Vitality. Sure. Why am I not getting any weapons that are like 300 like some of the others have rate power those are kind of like interchangeable almost um okay let's just do that for now let's do an electric aura here i put it like on the corner because there are going to be enemies coming around that corner Okay, very nice. Um, do we want to do the slowdown aura? Also, we're going to need an aura in the middle for later land. I don't think we need to actually put it out until we put it out. How much does this cost? Five units? That's quite a lot. Let's see, if we, we can put in the snare aura here. Snare is almost always used with uh, monk, just FYI. Okay, so I think we're doing pretty good. We just don't have enough uh, anything. Let's see. Let's get not this one. Ooh, of course we can use the EV as well with her proton beam. That is a nice thing. The proton beam is good. It's good. Especially nice for like those big enemies that are just being a pain in the socks. Let's put this, let's say, do two, two units. Okay, and we're out of stuff. All right, let's get her leveled up as well. Cool. Okay, her weapon is 
300 DPS. Well, like, why don't we have other 300 DPS weapons? <laughs> it's crazy. Like, for, for Monk. Like, poor Monk. Poor Monk. All right, very cool. Oh wow, these are not getting anywhere near even the electrics, man, because of the harpoons. Harpoons are super powerful. And at end game, like in regular dungeon defenders, you could get them firing like, I mean, they would just—they're constantly firing like a machine gun. They're crazy. That was always fun to get to that stage of things, where they just got nuts. But you needed it, man. The, the mobs were so tanky. It was just absolutely crazy. Okay, so um, one of the things that's going to happen, and I happen to know this because I've played this, and it was not a surprise to me, was that we had the, um, the boss will come into the center later. So I want to get some of those, um, some uh, ballistas set up. Really important. he kind of sits on the crystal a bit. And maybe I'll get some bowling ball towers actually. That could be another good thing to do. So we have 16 defense units left. What was I going to do with the Eevee? Oh no, I was going to put a... Um, I remember. Yeah, it was going to be a, uh, a monk aura in the center. And we still might do that. We'll see. We don't need the ensnare either. That's not necessary. So funny. I have jumped through these halls so many times. I just know every inch of them. It's quite crazy how you like remember that stuff over time. It's like coming back to an old landscape that you remember. It's pretty darn cool. Okay, so this would be the highest level of loot I have gotten from the game is from this level, because I didn't play past this level. Um, and we're also on a harder difficulty mode. So we should be getting better loot from here to dress our heroes in. Which is going to be great. So funny how like this, those ballista bolts stick in the ground like that. It's a bit nuts. So let's see, we're wave three of five right now. Um, I guess we can upgrade some of the stuff. Uh, we want, we're gonna wanna upgrade these guys. These seem to be able to hold their own quite easily. Like, this is kind of like really low level stuff here, uh, in general. I probably should have gone up two difficulties. I just didn't want to like, I don't know, overtax it. Because the boss is actually a bit difficult. Well, not difficult, but like... Uh-huh, that gives you a clue. Okay, we're just upgrading stuff here. Um, we are at wave four. I'm gonna go ahead and summon the monk real quick. And we'll put in his electric aura in the center here. Um, we have four defense units left. 
Ensnare a strength drain. Maybe we do a strength drain, actually. No. No, maybe not. I don't know. Um, let's just choose. Let's go back to this hero and grab some stuff. Let's look at our inventory real quick. See if there's anything better for him. Defense rate, power. Huh, that seems better. Anything else? We haven't looked at these for a time. What about... Runes. Hello? No? Why? Help? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what M is. Oh, it's drop mana. Of course it is. Yeah, that's so convenient. I forgot about that. Um, that's a thing that you, you used to do to um, drop mana for a friend. As in, like, a friend would play a different hero, so they would place the different hero's um, towers. So you could drop your mana for the other person so that they could place towers. Um... Yeah, I haven't played this with friends in a while. I don't play with that friend group anymore. Um, let's see, five? What is five? Slice and dice blockade. I guess I could put it in here. He might just smush it. Ah, it's okay. It doesn't matter if he smushes it or not. It's, it's just using up the units. Okay, I think we're going to use this uh, character for the rest. And I'm just going to upgrade stuff as we, as we can. Now, if you're really, I don't know, clever by the end of this, uh, the end of wave five, you can actually turn around like this, um, uh, that particular ballista. You can turn them around, but it's like you have to destroy it at the correct time as well, because you don't want to destroy it too early, because then you're in trouble. Slight trouble. Wait, what's that? I don't know why there's these bricks. That's a very strange shape. Okay. These auras are so tiny. <laughs> like, in, in Endgame and in uh, the original Dungeon Defenders, like, one of these would fill the entire room. Literally one. Now it would take many to just go end to end from the room. But yeah. I'm just gonna collect all the mana. I'm just gonna call it mana. I think it's mana. Okay, cool. Oh no, not that. I wanted a Q. That's what I wanted to do. I'm just gonna upgrade some stuff while we're waiting for those units to finish dying. That probably sounds heartless, but you know what? When it comes to goblins, we are heartless. Yes! It is fine. The longer the waves stretch on, the longer your auras are in use. I'm debating on whether I should... Um, I don't think I've repaired them so far, so they should last one more wave, you would think. That would be nice to know. But as you see, like a combination of defenses is really the most effective strategy. So it's it's good to have all of your heroes build build a huge hero deck, and then level people. Okay, we are ready to go. Gee, let's go. And I'll just upgrade stuff as we find.
Another thing you can do is put EV beams on the floor because the boss lands on the floor. But I feel like auras are probably better. I guess I could have taken this thing off and put an EV beam there instead. Or a few EV beams. Like crisscrossing. That's also quite effective with this particular boss. Check the other side, make sure that one is not dying. Ah, it's fine. I wonder if you can still put stuff out in your tavern. That's how we used to sell stuff to other people. Is just put it out in the tavern and then somebody would ask about it and you could sell it to them for whatever price you wanted. Gold. Oh, okay, that was bad. That was bad. Okay, X is our heal button. There we go. Come on, let's go. Sometimes you'd wish for like enemies to hurry up. Let's see, is it R? R is for repair, of course it is, yes. No. E. Thank you. That's a monk sword. Maybe. Maybe it's gonna be useful. It's gonna have some decent DPS for Monk. We can only hope. Give me my brick. All right, very few enemies left. I advise you to pick up all of the loot as you're going around because like after this one I don't think we get an opportunity to get loot. Like I think it ends and then it's done as I recall. But I don't remember. Let's see. Prepare for boss. Okay so now is when you can like zed this and re like move it down here. And then cue this. Okay, we can Z this one. Okay, and now the boss comes. Okay, didn't have time to put out the other one. There we go. Demon Lord. Okay, he's got chains and everything. He's looking very, very posh. Very bling, you know? Okay, so we can actually put this one down here, potentially. Uh, right there? Maybe. Oh, he's unhappy with me. So what we really want to do is delete these crystals as much as pop. Oh, hey, okay. I died. That was not good. We're respawning. Uh, you want to get these crystals. There's one. There's two. Well, he's almost dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. But if you get the crystals, he will uh, get like electrocuted for a time, and that will pause him in his throes of dangerness. Uh, oh, we got a box. Okay. Okay, so we do get a chance to go around again. There's still fire on the ground. That seems dangerous. So anyway, dead demon lord. Cool. And yeah, apparently there were other enemies coming around. Wonder if we were in any danger from this side. Oh, that wall almost came down. Okay, so we were in danger. So not a good thing to remove those. But I mean, we had we had bowling ball towers. We had two ballistas on each side. Bowling ball tower on each side. I don't know if he actually got killed by this uh, construction, but probably the aura did a lot of damage. So we, we did a good defense here. Pretty good, pretty good. So four points, one, two, three, and four. Okay, and item box, anything. Ooh, sapphire brooch, that is tasty, wow. It's our first brooch. Don't mind giving it to this character. The ballistas are really nicely powered. I like them very much, 
Um, so let's just do our map summary and nope. We have a cutscene. Arrive at the castle's interior, exhausted after their epic battle with the demonic monstrosity. Oh dear. The apprentice wonders what has brought them back to this time. The huntress remarks that evil beings must have drawn them back to what they considered a vulnerable state for our heroes. The monk, who has taken a vow of silence with a concentrated stare, recollects battles with previous evil forces. The squire boasts that it doesn't matter when they are, that any threat shall fall beneath his sword. Excellent. The ground crumbles below them, revealing a twisted portal. Falling through swirls of darkness for what feels like seconds. What feels it like seconds? Oh my goodness. So it was practically but instant. <laughs> I find that a bit silly. Feels like seconds. Come on. Should have been what feels like minutes or hours or something. Anyway, we got a ton of XP. Um, things were really good here. So we're going to go back to our tavern and then we're going to have to just go back to um uh, yeah another episode because we're almost done with this one and um but it's pretty exciting to see like you know you can also adjust their stats and stuff in here let's see six points earned for her since we last took her out that's not bad anything good for her let's see fortify okay there's some Let's just go through gear on all of them. Why not? Let's see. Boots. Okay. Let's see. Power. Okay, that's good. Three is higher than four. Hooray! Okay, we can have up to 525 thingies in here, but I really don't want to get up to that many. I think we should periodically, like, look at through the loot box. Um, and see. Okay, so that's her... We did him. Monk is next. Let's see. Wow, 62 DPS. That is so terrible. Why can't he get... Oh, wait. Let's go back to page one again. Okay, this is defense rate. That's good. Did we get a decent monk weapon for him? No. Why? Help! Also, that is annoying that it, like, does this. Comes up with stuff every time. All right, let's see. Six points. Okay. All right, next H is hero deck. All right, we haven't actually done anything with the Huntress yet. So I want to see what skills she has. Okay, power, boots, things, stuff. More things, more stuff. Um, okay. Crute's pouch. Looks like we got a fair amount of things and stuff. Hands, arms, thingies. Now later, I don't think this is going to matter much, whatever we're choosing right now. Um, I think it's better to just focus on just giving them some kind of armor. And at end game, we'll, we'll min-max it and see what we need to be successful here. Oh, 41 DPS, 52 fire. I think that's even. It's actually even. Um, this one has a longer attack rate. I think. I don't know if a lower number is better or a higher number. Is, is it like this many per second or this many seconds per attack? It's um, Sometimes these things can be a little bit tricky that way. What Which uh, skills does she have? She has one... Which is Explosive Trap, Poison Trap, Inferno, Poison Dart Tower, and Thunder Spikes. Thunder Spike Trap is amazing for bosses. It's like crazy. Um, but, well, yeah. Probably really good for like an ogre or a boss. Um, but as you see, it has a five second reset time. So it's quite, quite... Um, Quite slow to restart itself. Um, let's see. Go hero deck again. Let's go to our um, necromancer. Let's go I again. God, I forgot the key to use. Jeez. Okay. Power. And... Gosh, I thought we would have more upgrades for our folks here. 
So we haven't looked at this character in quite some time, actually. Two power or three rate. I think three rate is better. Seven vitality. That's always good. Um, let's see. Oh, did we use this one yet? Let's do stats. Yeah, 21. Jeez. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, 12, 12, 15, 15, 16, sure. And all the rest. Okay, runes. Can I do any runes on this one? No. Why are they all locked? I know I have a rune on somebody. I've put in like eight or so of those thingy thingies, and it's just not giving me what I want here. Okay, let's see. This is our last character to put gear on. Well, technically... It's not. I made the other two characters anyway. And we should probably just give them some of the gear. Um, until we come up with another chunk of it. Uh, let's see. Ooh, that's tasty. Oh, mithril staff. That's very cool. I know my guy's going to appreciate a mithril staff. Okay, stats. Again, many. Into tre fir fem sex. Into tre fir fem sex. Many, 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 and go. I guess I can use the keys. Um, let's see. Left. I guess that's shift, probably. Uh huh. Let's see. We have here. Deadly Striker Tower. That's the one that's really good at hitting wyverns. I think it's aerial only. Um, okay, so let's get our hero deck, and we're going to change a select. No, that's not the selecting I wanted to do. Change hero. So we have now two that have nothing. We have the rogue, and then let's put in the warden in here. I don't know why they have disincluded these two heroes. That's a little bit annoying, because it's like you have to level them completely separately. And it's like, why did you do this to us? I don't get it. Probably just to make us play more, maybe? I don't know. It seems very annoying. In any case. Alright, so that's good. Anything here? Okay, gloves. Okay. Boots. Thingy. Going up a tiny bit in stuffs and things. Okay, higher DPS and even more DPS. Good, good. Surprised these higher DPS things are like. This one is not higher DPS, I think. Dragon's Heart. I remember those dragon weapons. They're like a gun kind of thing. Okay. Sats. And now we have... Oh, zero points. Of course we have zero points. That's that's perfect. Oh! Oh! This guy! Wow. Multiple marks. Okay. Uh, let's do this one. And then we'll have multiple marks. I guess we'll do that one since we don't have any others to put there. Okay, good. Okay, wow, we actually have done things with runes. Wow. Okay, let's go again with this gal. Uh, let's go up to our inventory box and again just give her kind of the stuff that we have. And just give her what we can, what we can put on her. Hopefully we have enough clothing for her. She doesn't complain too much. Vitality. Okay. I don't really care so much about hero stats. As you see, when you die, you die for literally five seconds and then you're good. So I'm kind of like, okay, meh. Who cares if they die? Because it's rarely your gun that's going to save the day. Rarely, rarely. So... Wait, why isn't she... Is this a hat? That is not a hat. This is a hat and this is a not hat. Maybe it's a mask. 
This is a bracelet. These are accessories, I think. Oh, there's pets as well. That's nice. That's excellent. I miss pets. Pets are very nice. They can do very many things, or they could in the regular Dun Dungeon Defenders. Um, so that's pretty exciting. Okay, that doesn't work very well. Tangling Roots. Okay, we'll choose that one. Okay, and she has... What does she have? Let's look at her uh, weapons. I don't know what she does, actually. Okay, so she has a Roots of Purity. Blocks ground enemies and continuously restores HP of heroes. Uh, wrath increase armor by 15% and continuously deals damage to nearby enemies. Wisp Den. Okay, there's these wrath modifiers. That's interesting as well. Um, deals continuous damage to an enemy until it dies. This is interesting. Targeting priority. Wow. Okay, I didn't know you could change that. That was not in the original Dungeon Defenders. Blooming Blossom channels a beam that continuously damages a single enemy. Wrath beam pierces nearby enemies, dealing damage in a line. Ooh. I wonder how you activate that wrath part of it. Shroomy Pit. Fires exploding projectiles. This is so weird the way, like, this looks like mistake in coding here. Or in the markdown, anyway. Uh, so fires exploding projectiles, slow enemies. Sludge Launcher. Fires projectiles that sludge their target, then explode, dealing damage to nearby enemies. When the warden attacks the sludged enemy, it will trigger, trigger an additional explosion for 50% damage. So I think those, those other things, these things are meant to be this highlighted color here. But for whatever reason, the markdown didn't work. Um, anyway, looks interesting. Looks pretty interesting. Let's go and check the other character real quick. I just want to see what their skills are because I think we forgot I forgot to look so we have arcing device wow he only has three interesting okay deals damage to mark targets and stuns them okay continuously deals damage to mark targets and ensnares them so stuns and snares those sound like exactly the same thing continuously deals damage to mark targets and reduces their armor for a duration so this might be a good like kind of beat em up device in the very beginning of a, of a of a run anyway that's all the time we have for today thank you so very much for joining me if you want to see my old tavern uh do let me know in the comments and maybe i'll pull it out and just do a short tour in the beginning of one of these videos so anyway thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time